Hi, I'm Autumn and I'm a 7th grader. I'm Maggie and I'm an 8th grader. I'm Trinity and I'm an 8th grader. I'm Kylan and I'm a 7th grader and we're from Westside Middle School. <laughs> this is our poem, This is Middle School. Dear high schoolers, you think you have it so tough and even Hollywood agrees. No one makes movies about middle school. So everyone acts like your problems are somehow more relevant. But life isn't a John Hughes movie, and you are not the Breakfast Club. This is middle school, where you're forced to associate with people who don't even live in your gated community. Where people step on you like rungs on a ladder as they climb up the social ranks. Where you ask for a chance to improve your essay, and it costs you 20% off of your final grade. Where little kid tricks like putting ketchup on your friend's chair while she's wearing white jeans now gets you suspended. Don't, Don't you forget about the rumors. Before school, I asked Michael to help me find the second inverse of a tangent. I saw them talking and jumped at the chance to Snapchat them and throw a little shade. Oh my god, if that four-eyed freak thinks she's going to steal my man, she's about to catch these hands. <laughs> but why would he want her if he could have all of that? The, the rumors, rumors cause labels to be shot at us like bullets fired by, by an army of students, experts, and being jerks. Forced isolation at lunch because we can no longer talk to anyone. Without our words being twisted like cherry stems until they are no longer recognizable. And there's nothing left but scars from the, all the knives in our backs. Don't, Don't you forget, forget about, about the hormones. hormones. After P.E., I'm sweaty as a lunchroom sausage, but I don't have any time to shower. Because we don't have open periods. Speaking of periods, if Jesus were alive, I'd sit him down and have a long talk with him about menstruation. If Jesus were alive, you'd be the last person he'd want to talk to. The hormones cause. The clouds of stink from kids who forgot their ocean breeze deodorant. Double Ds that are too much for the creepy teachers already distracted by our shoulders. Our sexuality, the shape shifts so that one minute we think, no homo. The next, she looking like a snack. <laughs> Don't you forget about the relationships. He is so good for my reputation. Reputation is a societal construct poorly used Hakuna, by... Hakuna, your tatas. She's the only one who found true love. Oh my god, he broke up with me. Who breaks up with someone on a Wednesday? Relationships cause us to drain our Starbucks cups until there's nothing... They're as empty as the connections we pretend to have. Unauthorized biographies published in 280 character chapters. Instagram pages where they ship us with our friends even though everyone knows he's gay. The discovery that the person that we just took a bullet for is the person behind the trigger. We have adult size problems. But we're still treated like children. So we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice an entire week to write a poem about how hard middle school is. Because we think you're crazy to assume that just because you're older, your problems are bigger. This, and we are middle schoolers, and we know that you see us how you want to see us. In the simplest terms with the most convenient definitions. But, but even, even though high school may be hard, middle school is harder. And you can take that from a teacher's pet. A queen bee. An outcast. And a jerk. Sincerely, Sincerely 